All right, Ada had a great question about free trials and some clarification on affiliates. So first off, can we take an existing offer and toggle from not having a free trial to making it so it can? It seemed like you said this could be done, but I'm having a tough time figuring out how to do this and couldn't find the answer in Kajabi. When I click the offer and hit edit and go to recurring subscriptions, I don't get the option for trial offer. I wonder if once the offer goes live, if I'm able to change that aspect of it. So first off, you want to be inside Kajabi and then you want to go into your offers and when you're on your offer, if you're changing something from a non, no free trial offered to, yes, I want to offer a free trial, you open up your offer and let's find one that's not free. Let's do this one. So we're going to pick our existing offer and we want to change it. So we're going to click edit the price. Now you'll see that it is on recurring subscription, which is what a membership is. It's just paid monthly with no end and date right here. We're going to have to click new plan so we can keep everything the same. So I believe this one was, oh, we'll call it $50 and it said build the customer every one month right here, trial period. This is your free trial. So if you are offering a free trial, that is where you put your days. The setup fee, you can include that or not include it. And the price text override, you can change this to, um, oh, let's see. Purchase includes a free 14 day trial. And this is when I encourage people play around with the wording and preview it because some look really great and some don't look so great. So we can click preview to see what the offer looks like right here. And we have the membership level and then right here is where I did the price text override. So this is what I mean by play with some verbiage. You don't even have to use it at all, but sometimes depending on what you're offering, how it's being delivered, it's just another opportunity to provide clarity for your customer. So here, Purchase includes a free 14 day trial. So right here, it says $50 every month. There's a 14 day, nothing is due now. They will enter their credit card information. Definitely include as part of your onboarding email sequences, letting people know at maybe day 11 or 12 that if they wanna cancel, they need to do so. Their full membership will start on day, they will get charged on day 15. So that is how you adjust your offer. Now let's go see the second question. As I was reading how to keep people from abusing their free trial function, it looks like kind of a pain. I could see how some of my folks might toggle in and out of a subscription because they may have an injury or some life event, work schedule shift, etc., where they want to sit out for a while and rejoin later. I've already heard this from a few members. It seems like having an automation to prevent abuse would also be a pain for me when members try to rejoin. And if they did, would they once again be included in that free trial? Yes, if people cancel and then rejoin as long as they have access to this membership offer, they would get the free trial. So, and this is more than likely going to be living on your website. So yes, trying to maneuver around it can become a pain. Um, you can make a new offer that doesn't have a trial and give them that link in terms of email sequences or sending out an email broadcast, but more than likely, they're always going to be able to find the offer that would be available to the public. And yes, that can become a pain trying to manage it. And so what you want to do or what you can do for the abusing the free trial is especially in this area where it's a fitness membership and doing something similar to what the local YMCA would have for us as members pre-pandemic was if you wanted to pause your membership over the summer, it was a $10 a month fee to keep the membership active. And then um, it would go back to the regular family rate, which was closer to $100 
in the fall. And you could pause up to three months of every one year period, I believe is what the contract for the Y had. So you can build into your site into your emails that go out a link that says need to pause your membership and then create a way where they could reach out to you saying, yes, I've been injured. I need to pause my membership. You can do that by applying. If they paid via Stripe, you can apply um, the equivalent of a coupon code. So three months you can go in and apply that on the account so that the account is technically still active, but Stripe is working against a deficit. In PayPal, it's a little bit different, but you can do that. And it also gives you an opportunity when people say, yes, I need to pause, that maybe there's something in the membership focused on healing or getting back to being, um, you know, healthy and functioning that they didn't know was there. So it would also give you an opportunity to see what they're, what's going on for them. If there's a way that you could meet their needs while keeping their membership active. The last thing I'm considering is just creating a separate offer that is simply a free trial that can be offered by my affiliates. The problem here is wondering if someone clicked on an affiliates link for the free trial and then in follow-up emails as part of that sequence I offered them for them to join, then that affiliate probably wouldn't get the commission or would they? My guess is no and this option would be more work than it would be worth. Yes, the cookie that is attached when they click on the affiliate link provided to them stays active on that device for 30 days. So if they click the link from a desktop and then they go to purchase from a cell phone, it will not track currently in Kajabi. It doesn't track a, across um, devices and being logged into different sessions. So if I click on an affiliate link and I'm going through the sequence in terms of uh, the original click, then the affiliate money would go through. But if I clicked on the free trial and then you picked me up in a different sequence and I was on a different device, then the cookies might not track and they might overlap. So yes, that's where in your affiliate terms, you just need to be super, super clear that what is in your Kajabi system is what controls at the end of the day because uh, cookies and devices and day counting are all involved when memberships are being tracked. So if you have other questions that came up from that, please let me know. I'm happy to answer them at any time.